2010. For the second consecutive fiscal year, St. Lucia is on course to register double-digit GDP growth of 18.1% in 2022, a marked improvement when compared to the 12.1% GDP projection in the previous year. Prime Minister Pierre has successfully nursed St. Lucia's economy from the sharpest GDP decline to the second best performing economy in the entire CARICOM region. Guyana, St. Lucia and Barbados recorded the highest growth rates. And St. Lucia recorded the second highest growth rate after Guyana. 9. For the first time since 2010, the national unemployment rate dropped to 19% by the end of 2022 and youth unemployment declined to its lowest levels in 13 years. We remain committed to driving overall unemployment and in particular youth unemployment down to single digits before the end of this parliamentary term. 8. More than EC, $130,000 was disbursed to six St. Lucian entrepreneurs and business owners during the first official check handover ceremony under the newly minted micro, small and medium-sized enterprise MSME loan grant facility. The government has demonstrated its understanding of a major challenge faced by our MSMEs and it is addressing this issue via financial inclusion. 7. The recent donation of equipment to the Opico Seamoss Farmers Association and Seamoss Farmers in Savins Bay is a tangible demonstration of the government's commitment to this burgeoning industry. Drying tables and flotation devices, essential tools that will help them maintain proper standards and elevate their Seamoss farming operations to new heights. And it has always been a concern to me that we need to be able to impact the livelihoods of people in the rural areas and the CMOS sector, sector subsector is well placed to do so. 6. The meeting of stakeholders within the sphere of food safety and policy making was held at the public service training room in April. The consultative session focused on food safety legislation, informing and directing policy and strengthening food safety systems. All of us should be excited that St. Lucia is really looking at its system uh, to ensure that uh, we protect our consumers against food fraud, against uh, contaminated foods, uh, and uh, to ensure that what is being presented on the table is actually safe for consumption. Five. Fellow St. Lucians, as we move into the final term of the 2022-2023 academic year, I take this opportunity to address our stakeholders. We enter into this final term of the year with a commitment to build on the gains of last term despite the many challenges we currently face. Four. Words of the Boys Training Center, BTC, coupled with students of the New Beginnings Transit Home, have embraced the creative art of mural painting. Following hands-on training from artists affiliated with the French Embassy in St. Lucia. We saw this as a fitting um, um, initiative as it would um, beautify the community and we wanted the boys to be part of an activity that would give back to the community. Three. St. Lucia, like other small island developing states, is working assiduously to achieve the United Nations 2030 Agenda for the Attainment of Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs. UN Resident Coordinator for Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean, Didier Trebek, says the UN is pleased with St. Lucia's pace with SDG achievement. We have done a lot of strides in our collaboration here in St. Lucia. We have a country implementation plan that focuses on, of course, responding to the various crises the country and the region have gone through recently. Two. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs this week joins its counterparts in the observance of the 21st Vaccination Week of the Americas. This observance coincides with the World Health Organization 12th anniversary of World Immunization Week, emphasizing the protection that vaccines provide to individuals and their loved ones, and stressing the importance for a long and healthy life. One. 
Despite the rise in modern technology, Karu, who once worked as a library assistant overseas, thinks libraries still have a place in building young lives. Books have allowed me to see past my reality and in many ways to manifest my future.